Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Here's the receive ballon that I made. I'll leave the link above so you can see how I made that. Uh, you see I put some silicone adhesive uh, on the, uh, the areas where um, to prevent moisture from getting inside. Here are the ring terminals. I'm going to use this, I think this is a 14 gauge, I need 60 feet of it, I think I have enough of, on here, on that reel. And I'm going to crimp and then also solder them uh, onto those ring terminals. This is some high vis wires that I bought on sale a couple years ago from DX Engineering. I'm going to use this, run uh, 60 feet of wire. So I got my measuring tape on the deck here, there you go, yeah this works out well. To unreal the wire, I do have enough. All right, so I'm just gonna go tape. I'm gonna take this piece of tape here. Actually, I need to go to 62. Yeah, 62 inches. So I'm gonna go to 62 inch, and then I'm gonna cut it at the end of the measuring tape. Okay, so this is the end of our 60 feet and 2 inches, so I'm just going to cut it right there. Now I have my 15 feet. I have the measuring tape reeled out to 15 feet. I'm going to measure each leg to 15 feet. And then I'm going to mark it with the electrical tape. I'm going to go past it about an inch and that inch is so that I can solder it onto the, the box. There's my neighbors yelling at me getting to work. <laughs> All right so I got 15 I got 15 feet right there I'm just gonna put the tape right in the middle of that. 15 so I'm going to do the same for the other corners. Okay, I just crimped it. I'm going to go ahead and, and put some solder into it. You know what, I freaking give up. I took off the heat shrink and then I just put some solder in it. As you can see, this is my yard where I have my tower. I'm still working on my tower project. I have my 80 meter double bazooka that I use primarily. And over there is, uh, behind the tower is a DX Commander. So that's the yard, and this is where I have the uh, 15 feet square horizontal loop, not horizontal, loop on the ground uh, located. So there is the ballon, and I got it hooked up to the pass-through on the window, the last window there. I have a windows pass-through. And you can see where I have both leads wing nut on. And I have, so you see the white tape? That's a marker for the 15 foot mark. So that's one. The other one is right there, that's two. That's in the opposite direction from the uh, ballon and uh, number three and it goes right back to the ballon so later I'm going to test it test it out the receive on HF well I can actually get on there right now I'll use the uh, the vertical the DX commander. I know you can't quite see it. Let's just walk towards it. So here we are, getting closer 
to the DX Commander. And uh, that's it, that's the DX Commander. This is my 30 foot tower. I'm still working on it. And on top of there, you can see, hard to tell, is the double bazooka. Now this is how I have it oriented. So it's being fed here at this corner, here. So on my points to the left, and also the points to the right, the, the lobes on the receiver, it's going south to north. And the reason I got it oriented so I can hear uh, my friends up in Canada, North Carolina, South Carolina, and down South Florida when I'm receiving. So where I'm looking now is east and that's west. So that's how I have it oriented. This is the uh, reference where I get my information from KK5JY. And I'll leave the link down in the description so you, you can just click on it and review it. Remember, I, I had the, uh, the Balan, the transformer, um, located on my property. And uh, I'm, I had it facing east and west. And north and south is where my main receive lobes will be coming from. So that's how I got it oriented. So I'll leave the description again. Down in the in the, uh, in the the notes down below, or I'll leave the link in the description. That's how I should say it. Uh, but let's go uh, compare what I'm receiving now versus the uh, receive loop. So the program that I'm running here is called Thetis. I'm running the Anon Apache. Apache Labs Anon G2. And if you look right here in the middle, it says middle top, it says transmit antenna. That's my um, DX commander currently connected to it. And on my receive antenna, that's going to be my receive loop. So let me show you the configuration on, on the DX commander, how I have it set up. I have the automatic noise gain control and it's green. See, I can adjust it, but when I do a right mouse click, it makes it automatic. I have to put minus 20 dB attenuation and no noise blanker. So let's go pick up a strong signal right here. I'm gonna turn on the audio. Super small form factor because you know I don't do anything anyway, really on ham clock. You just reference it from time to time. So maybe I'll go with like a, I don't know, like a 12 inch or a 14 inch model. So his signal is an S9 plus 20 up here in the right hand, and put right it off top. To the side. S9 you plus 20. Ideas. The well, highest was that. S9 I, plus I 20. Okay, I want to convert. I'm going to switch it to the receive antenna. Now I have to make some changes. Okay, so I got to take out the take out the dBs, the attenuation. Then I'm going to max it out to 120 under receive gain. So his signal is now is an S3. So what it does basically, it gives it a better signal to noise ratio. It reduces some of the power line noise, and that's the whole reason for having this loop on the ground. Uh, in my property, I have a lot of power line noise, and I have to use the noise blanker. But uh, listen. This is the loop on the ground on 40 meters. Do one in the middle and then, uh, you know, do on each side. Uh, 
uh, make a wraparound deal if you want to get that uh, involved in it. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people use two. But, yeah, you could do the three deal, too. That'd be neat. I got, look at that. I got mine off to the left of the desk here. I can look over and see them. I run uh, Echo Link on the line. And, uh, and okay. My, now, let uh, me um, on it bring and, uh, the... the so, transmitter, yeah, kinda, which is my DX commander. So we got a S4 here. signal. Yeah, I'll copy that. Copy that. You know, the other thing I thought about, Tom, is actually getting rid of this hutch because when it goes to like trying to see behind, you know, for connections and stuff. Now he's S9 plus 10. It's almost like it's just a big project every time I go to hook something up and it just pisses me off to no end. It's like, yeah, it looks great. Um, I don't know if you've seen a picture of it, but, you know, it looks fine. But, you know, whenever I try to move something or I want to hook up another patch cable or I want to hook up another antenna or whatever, it's like I get to tear the whole damn thing apart just to, just to get to where I want to be. And... Um, so that's um, what the loop on the ground does for me here at my station, being that I got a lot of power line noise. Well, guys, uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Click on the like button and the uh, notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. My name is Darren. And my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Thank you for watching 73s and have a great day.